Hey guys, it's Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. I'm tired, it's been a long last two, three days. Wrapping up this Sony condo trip and my goal during this trip was to, of course, talk to all my fellow journalists who I know here and reviewers and the press and friends. Um, also, I brought my son Brandon this time. It's his first kind of media trip. Uh, he was kind of my assistant, did some video work for me. And he also had fun taking some photos. But my main goal, main goal here was to dig in more with the a7 III. Now I know it's been out for a while. Uh, I am late with my review, but I finally posted my full real world review uh, over at stevehuffphoto.com with tons of images, tons of variety to the images. And uh, I just want to say this is going to be sort of a, uh, complement to the written review. Um, so make sure you check that out over at the website because there's a lot of information there, are a lot of photos uh, that you can click on and check out. And But this is it, this is the a7 III. I have the 24 to 70 attached. And this is just a beautiful camera. I tried and tried and tried ever since it came out a month ago to find a weakness. And the only thing I can come up with as far as being a weakness applies to all the Sony cameras. The menu system is kind of complex and outdated and a little too deep. I wish they would go to a simpler interface like the Hasselblad X1D or a Leica. That would make it so much more enjoyable. And I find the Sony designs a little boring and blah, the button placements. You know, I, I really love cameras like the X1D with their works of art. Uh, Leica M10, work of art. Leica SL, beautiful, simple. Uh, the Sonys, while their performance is up here above almost anyone else in, in regards to battery life, speed, image quality. Now with lens selection, it's funny because people used to complain there's no lenses for Sony and now Sony has so many lenses. And then from third parties, there's lenses made for E-mount, even manual focus lenses from Voigtlander. You can even use M lenses. So the cool thing about the Sonys is their full frame, and that's what Sony is focusing on these days, is their full frame line, because I gotta tell you, the a7 III is selling like hotcakes. As of this video and the written review, there's a three to five week wait for a Sony a7 III if you go to B&H Photo or Amazon, uh, my two favorite Sony dealers, where I buy my Sony gear. But this a7 III, um, the a7R, I'll say, is for resolution, the a9 is for speed, and the a7 III is for everything. It's a generalized model and all you're giving up, you're not really compromising on image quality or speed or low light. You're only compromising on things like this has a lower res EVF to save money, a lower res LCD to save money, um, a little less build quality to save money. If they added those things, it'd be right back up to the $3,000 price point. So Sony gave us these options. You can go basic, which it's far from basic at 2000. You can go for resolution for like 3200, or you can go for all out speed, best build quality, best EVF at 4200. But the cool thing is the image quality, you're not losing any image quality here. You're losing a little resolution from the a7R 3 but IQ from the a7 III is just fantastic. So what I'm going to do with this video here, you know I love the camera, and if you've read or watched the 100 other reviews, you know most people love this camera. There's really nothing that can touch it. There's nothing that can touch it at this price point, and I'm telling you that right now. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, if you're looking for something that's fast, can almost see in the dark, it gives you the best battery life that you can get. I think it's rated for seven, between seven and 800 shots, but I've been getting more. A fantastic, beautiful video. This is it right here. It's the most versatile camera I know of in full frame, mirrorless, right here. But I'm going to finish off this video by showing you a stream of photos that I've shot with this camera and I'll kind of narrate over them to talk about my experience shooting those photos, what I like about this camera, and keep in mind, all of these photos were JPEGs. Um, so you're seeing JPEGs out of the camera here, and they're beautiful. So uh, be sure you check out that written review at stevehuffphoto.com. But let's get into the photos, because there's a lot of them. 
and uh, I'll, I'll wrap this up after we see the photos. And away we go with a few photos with some fantastic color here. These are right out of the camera, guys. This is from the A7 III, and every image you see here will be shot with the 24 to 70 G Master lens. This is another great shot right here, 24 to 70 right out of the camera. Now, I will be showing raw files that were processed. Once I get back home, I'll update my website review. But for now, these are all JPEGs and check out the color. Even the skin tone here was spot on from what I saw in person, live. Um, this was a really, really great day. We had fun shooting these. The camera was responsive, fast to autofocus. Here's a car with some red and gold colors. Uh, the colors popped. Again, 24 to 70 G Master. No problem, this lens is sharp, it's fast to focus, and it's an overall beautiful lens. Here's a model on the beach. I love how the blue pops here. Again, the color, the skin tone, uh, the dynamic range right out of the camera is just beautiful. When using this camera, you hold it up to your eye, you take the shot, and it focuses. Now, I used to always use center point focus with every camera I owned. These new Sonys, the V3 versions, are the first ones that I let the camera choose. I set it to wide, um, and it just always nails the focus where I want it. Now, none of these shots here were using continuous AF. These were all... Um, uh, without continuous, there was no tracking, but I did use the wide mode and it always nailed, uh, hit the spot that I wanted it to focus on. So these are just fun shots taken with the camera while we were at Sony Condo 2.0. Lovely, lovely trip. Here was a model sitting in a room that was lit very dramatically. It was so hot in here though. And I know that she had to be burning up with all these clothes on and that fur. But it was very dim and nostalgic feeling. It was like a vintage set, like a movie set. And this guy was sitting there all chill and I know he was sweating. But it was a fun time and it provided for some interesting photos. The a7 III, again, no issues with anything. The dynamic range, the color, the tones. Um, and again, this is right out of camera, guys. There's no raw processing here. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't shoot raw. You should always shoot raw because it gives you the most versatility with your files and you can change everything later if you screw up. This is a, a camera bag from blackforestbags.com that I'm reviewing. It's cheap, it's beautiful. It's one of those fancy bags you can get without paying a fortune. Here's a shot of a hostess at a restaurant Brandon and I went to while in Monterey. And uh, I was taking a picture of the sign. She made a joke how she usually ducks when people take, take the picture. So I said, well, now you have to smile because now you have to be in it. And as I always say, all you need is love. Love is the key. That's my slogan lately. Um, you know, there's a lot of hate out there in the world these days and a lot of negativity, even here on YouTube, it's ridiculous. Um, just freaking love people, love, respect, kindness, and that will improve your life so much. This is a funny picture. Brandon sitting here at the Forest Gump or Bubba Gump Shrimp uh, on, a, on a bench. It looks like his feet are huge, but that's just for a photo op. Uh, we went out to lunch over in Monterey and uh, I had him sit there and tortured him with that picture. Here's Brandon again as he was climbing the rocks and checking out the ocean. We were under the pier. Uh, it was a very beautiful day, very beautiful day. Uh, I converted this to black and white. This is not an in-camera JPEG. I still use alien skin these days. This is a little puppy dog uh, that we ran into on the grounds of the Sony condo trip. They had a bunch of puppies and kittens and this guy was really, really cool. He was curious about the cameras around him. Um, here's that same model from earlier on the beach. I love her eyes here. They're striking and the color here, no issues. You give this camera good light and it's going to reward you with good color, good dynamic range, sharpness, and image quality that is up there with the best. And while this camera has an AA filter, um, it doesn't exhibit that characteristic in the photos. The photos are still sharp. And in a minute here, I'm gonna show you guys 
uh, a couple of detail shots and a here's a detail shot right here this dog swam way out into the ocean to grab a stick and this is when he came back out and uh, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see the quality of the JPEG out of the camera um, the a7 III has no issues with sharpness and detail and while it's 24 megapixels it's plenty for most this is ISO 12800 I'm going to show you a full crop and it was pretty dark in there. This was a really weird, creepy, cheesy wax museum. But look at the detail, even at 12,800 ISO, this is a 100% crop. This image is ISO 6400 in that same museum. Um, 6400 is beautiful on this camera, even when in low light, which is the real torture test for any digital camera. Here's a 100% crop. I'm not a fan of using studio lights to shoot uh, high ISO tests, and I've been shooting them in low light for years, as you should. Again, just to show how the camera renders highlights and handles dynamic range right out of the camera. This was a band uh, playing. I got right up to the stage and was trying to shoot some really cool shots. I only got three or four that I liked. Uh, but this band was wonderful. I don't even remember their name, which is a shame. Um, we weren't there by the stage when they announced the name. There was no information at our tables, but she was having a great time. And I loved her striking red hair, which is backlit here. Um, and you can see how the camera handles that backlit situation. This was taken through a mirror on the stage and I just flipped it. Uh, and this was the guitar player jamming out. And, but it looks a little foggy around the edges. This one too, same thing. It's a little weird, it looks artsy because I shot it using a mirror. Um, so these were not shot direct, but towards the ground. This one was shot normally. Uh, she was belting out the tune. She had an amazing voice and the band was awesome. All right, so you just saw the photos. Thanks for watching. You know I love the camera. I highly recommend it. If you want to purchase one, I recommend B&H Photo or Amazon, and I put links in the description below in case you would like to use them. If you found this video informative, feel free to use them. But other than that, if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. There will always be more videos on the way. I'm Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com. Bye.